Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Expeditions Viking. Now, when we left off, we had participated in a couple of rather... Uh, yes, it was a very bad battle, but it actually showcased a little bit more about what this game is all about, and that is, if you fail, it doesn't actually matter too much, because it will then continue in a more organic fashion, instead of being like, oh, it's, it's game over, you've got to restart that entire thing, it's just like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, there's a different thing that's going to happen, so I really like that, that is really cool, so yes, I have started to track this quest right here, and that is, of course, to travel to Riba and hire some mercenaries. And, of course, we have an optional to offer Gunnar a place in our party. So, we're going to try and do that. It's going to be kind of interesting to see whether he will accept any kind of offer. But, I think if he... I mean, come on, he's got to accept it. Otherwise, we're going to... What? I don't know. Execute him or something? I don't know. Maybe? I think that would be kind of logical to assume. Oh, hello there. Okay, so Roskva is now uh, is now approaching us. The witch's apprentice accosts you outside your longhouse. I heard you're leaving. I want to join you. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, well, wh why do you wish to join? Should we should we ask? Yeah, I guess why not. She scratches her wrist. Um, do I really need a reason? <laughs> no, but if you have one, I want to hear it. It's just time to leave, you know. I owe a lot to Old Holder, but I've learned all I can from her, and I still don't know enough. I hear it's a big world out there. Sure, I'll be glad to have you on a, uh, on board, yes. She smiles, and it's a proper smile for once, showing teeth and everything. Thank you. I'll find someone to take care of Holder while you're gone. Asleaf growls with barely contained displeasure. You're letting the Poisoner join us? Oh yes, we did poison him, didn't we? So, he's not very happy about that, but he can just shut up, can't he? Yes, and I'll hear no objections. I was the one who had her poison you if you're angry. Yes, okay, I'll say that. He scowls at the young witch. I spent the whole night in the freezing outhouse because of her lies. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's, that's, uh, that was... Ah, uh, yes, very good, Asleaf. Okay, well, Roskva looks at her feet. Her voice is meek. I could have given you much worse things, you know. The warrior's stare spits fire. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that bit of writing. Okay, so, yes, we now have a witch joining us, which is fantastic. We we do need one of those, of course. So, let's have a look and speak to Gunnar. Gunnar is still where you left him. A hog is curiously sniffing his pants. Well, I never thought I would say those words in the same sentence. Good to see you again. Have you decided what to do with me? I have an offer for you. I want you to join my party. I swore you would go free, and I intend to keep my word. I don't care where you go, but you get better get out of my town, or you attack my people. If you thought I would live, you're unbearably naive. Well, I have an offer for you. I want you to join my party. I accept immediately. Okay. I didn't expect this to be so easy. Ha! Huh. Why would I reject such an offer? You showed remarkable prowess in defeating my men. I would love to fight by your side. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Even though he absolutely destroyed us... Kettle cuts Gunnar's ropes. We'll find you a place to stay. For now, we can at least get you out of this pig pen. The Alphadin stretches, squeezing his wrists to get the blood flowing again, then puts out a huge hand to seal the deal. I swear before Odin to follow you wherever you ask and serve you with my life. And there we go. We have a full party. An absolutely full party, and I am actually kind of afraid for the opponents that we may indeed be facing, because I would not want to face these people. They are insanely powerful, or at least I think they're insanely powerful. Maybe it's just because they're part of my party? <laughs> That's probably the reason, isn't it? Yeah, that is probably the reason. So yes, just a quick reminder for those of you that have stuck with the series, if you want to add this to your wish list or to keep an eye out for it, there is a link in the description and I highly recommend adding it because you know how it is. Sometimes you think, oh, that's a really cool game. I really want to play that in the future. And then you forget about it or whatever. And, uh, you know, then you, you kind of kick yourself because you really wanted to play that game. So I highly recommend adding it to your wish list or bookmark it or whatever. But anyway, let's go to Reba, I believe. We're going to go to Reba, aren't we? Okay, so, uh, is, is that it down there? Yes, that's it down there. The seat of Thane Ranhild and capital of the Danes. Travel time is 
One day, one hour. We have a couple of fatigued people, though, so I think it might be an idea to head over there. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, every uh, Oh, Kettle is loyal to us. Oh, that's that's actually rather nice. Okay, so everyone is healthy, but they it does say that there's one fatigued, so I don't know who's fatigued. Is it me? Is it me that's fatigued? Because if so, I don't really see the necessity to go into the camp. It would actually be kind of a nice idea to... Yes. A nice idea to take a look and see what's going on here, though, because we haven't actually looked at one of these camps before. And as you can see, there doesn't seem to be any enemies around here. But I can assume we're going to be finding some. So let's take a look at... Whoa. Oh my. Okay, so Roskva, our witch, has a huge amount of different abilities here. Slice, Flurry, Restore, Cure, Demoralize, Poison. The target gets the status effect of Venomous. That's rather cool. And dust, and obviously tactical move, and then we have, well, very small amounts of abilities with Gunnar, but I, I don't expect him really to need much, as you could see. All followers get the status effect Tears Favor, all followers get the status effect Centered, immune to stunned, knocked down, etc. Oh wow, that's... that's mighty impressive if I do say so myself. So, I'm gonna be moving Asli for head here. And we're going to see if we can uncover them. I am assuming that they are probably going to be in the wilderness somewhere. So let's move us behind him. And I, I suppose Kettle will just go over there. I don't really see the necessity to really do much with him. And obviously Nefia does actually have a bow. Yes, I do I do remember that she has a bow. But what kind of abilities does she have? Well, not not much. I don't even know what bow she's using, which is kind of a shame. I really should check that, but... That's the thing, I don't know what bow she's using, and she's very good with her spear. So, I think I think we'll keep her as a an archer for this, just to see what's going on with her. And Roskva will go into combat a little bit as well, because of course she does have, well, rather some good abilities here. And she does have a bow as well, which is hilariously cool enough. So, let's get Gunnar to the front there as well. There we go, okay. So, end turn. Now let's see if the enemy decides to do anything. Ah! They're coming. I think they're around here. Aren't they? Well, they're still moving. Ah, there they are. Okay, so there's... Oh, I see. Okay, they're actually quite... Oh. Oh, that was misguided, I think. Attempting to shoot us from there. <laughs> ah, well. Let's have a look here. Okay, so there are... Three of them? Ah, four of them. There are four of them, and we have a band... We have, well, technically they're bandits, I, I would assume. So we have four of them, and two of them are healers. So we need to be quite careful of that. What? That was an insane shot. Oh my, wow, that was, that was absolutely insane. Oh, they do actually have some thralls as well. These thralls don't actually have much in the way of defense. So I think we should be okay to actually kill them quite easily. Okay, so we have a 40% chance, 0%. And nothing else. Okay, so what about here? Nope, nothing there either. Okay. So, I'm going to take cover over here. I'm going to take cover over there. And going to take cover over there. And then Roskva is probably going to... That's the thing, I'd like her to take cover too, but I don't want her to sprint over there. She could go over there, but then she's probably going to get focused a little bit. But it's okay, because we can heal her, so I think that's alright. So let's get... Kettle over there, and I think Nefia is going to have some problems because she can't really reach anywhere useful, I suppose. So I think we're just going to take her in this direction. If she gets shot once, it doesn't really make too much difference. Can we shoot someone? 0%. Ah, 6%. 6% chance. Really? A 6% chance? I don't think that's going to happen. 5% chance? Wow. Okay. Okay, we're going to try the 6%, but I doubt it's going to make any difference. No, it was a miss, but almost, almost, actually didn't do too badly. Okay, so let's see if we can actually shoot with Kettle here. 50% chance, 30%, okay, so let's let's try against the shielded guy. He's probably going to block it, but at least we can break his shield or something, maybe. Oh no, he didn't. Wow, we actually dealt a pretty decent blow there. Not bad. And Asleaf is probably going to... Wait, I'm going to move Roskfer away here, actually, because... I want the Thrall to enter combat with Asleaf when he has his ready action. Or ready to use. Yes, ready, ready. <laughs> That's the way to go. Okay, so, yes, what's what's this woman doing here? Going into cover. 
Ah, yes, exactly. That's exactly what I thought would happen, but unfortunately he did block it, so that's it's kind of a bit of a shame. They obviously did that on purpose. Oh, 23 damage with his fists. Well, that's kind of impressive, but I am extremely happy that we have a second unit with healing capabilities. I think that's really amazing. So let's just see. Hopefully Asleaf will not get killed here. He did. He actually did get killed. I'm actually extremely surprised by that. Okay, so yeah, there you go. He, ha he has gotten taken out, but the thing is, is that can we revive him? I'm sure there is a way. Isn't there a way to revive? I don't know. Isn't there a way to revive? Can I restore him? No? Can't restore him. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's use exposure on this guy so we can get his shield off. And that's going to make things a lot easier. And then we can probably... Hmm, let's see. Let's move with Gunnar, I think. There we go. And we're going to... We're going to do a lot of damage here, I think. Oh, yeah. Nice critical hit there as well. And 95%. Oh, yes. 95% on that guy would be very nice. Harried. Harried, really? Oh, come on now. Come on. That is that is just not fair. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to try and do some damage here. Yes. There we go. Nice damage. Okay. And Roskva, can you get there? It seems like she can. Okay. We're just going to attack with her. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. Okay, so now the only problem is that we have the rest of them to fight, but we do have two healers, so if they decide to focus anyone, then obviously that's going to be a problem, because obviously that's the reason why Asleaf was killed, because they all focused one guy, and now they're focusing me. Yeah, okay, so there is a, there's a slight problem there, there is a slight problem that they are starting to focus down our individual units here. Which is very sad, actually, but it's it's actually a testament, though, because I, I was actually complaining earlier about the fact that the AI doesn't focus enough, but now they are focusing, and now I'm kind of sad about that, yeah. That's kind of... it's not really good, is it? Because now I'm the only healer, technically. Okay, so we're going to have to move over here. Unfortunately, use a tactical move to do that. And we could technically move over here and use this as a... Could we? Yeah. Yeah, we can activate Slice. Makes a free attack at half damage. Well, that's the best we could get, I suppose. Okay, so we're going to have to kill this to prevent Gunnar from dying. So... Let's see what we can do. Okay, come on, Kettle. Can you actually do something useful for once? Are you going to? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so Kettle actually did really, really good right there. Okay, so we're going to be doing a little bit of damage here. Nice spear attack. And there we go. Okay, so now if they focus Gunnar, he's probably going to die. But if they don't, then we can heal him. Okay, no one else shoot him. No one else shoot Gunnar now. Ah, yes. They are playing a lot better this time. They are certainly playing a lot better this time. I'm actually rather impressed because usually they will not focus. And as you see in previous battles, you know, that's that's just how it goes. But yeah, okay. So let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Obviously now they're going to get into melee with our archer. But yes, Roskver is going to have to heal Nephia, I think. Wait, let's, uh, let's, let's actually do something real quick here first. Let's move over here, shall we? And then we'll heal. Oh, of course. An attack of opportunity. But it doesn't matter so much because it's only 10 damage, so that's okay. I just wanted to get over here so that I could use a free attack against this over here. Because that will do some damage. 
Not a, not a lot, but it will do some damage. And now we're going to switch to melee here. And are we going to use Flurry? Makes two attacks at half damage on the same target or on two different targets that each attempts to cause bleeding. Okay, I think that's good. There we go. And we can do it again. Yes. That's what we like to see. Okay, so Nephia can now attack. And hopefully, maybe, we can kill this in the next turn, but they have one archer remaining? Only one? No, they have two archers remaining. Ah, that's a problem. That is a severe problem. Ah, and there's the healer. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that is terrible. Ah, oh, that is absolutely awful. Okay. Well, at least we're not going to get another bow against us, so that's okay. And Roskva can heal Nephia again. So that's actually fine. Should be okay, at least. Okay, so, yes, we're going to be healing there. There we go. Okay, that's good. So now we know how, we, we no longer have any free attacks, which is kind of a problem, but other, otherwise I think we'll be okay. So let's kill this. And there we go. Okay, so that's wonderful. So now, there are three remaining. We have three of our own, but obviously, uh, yes. I think I think it might be really close. Oh, she's attempting to move away. Attempting to, to move away. Okay, so they're going to try and focus Nephia down now, and it might actually work. It might actually work, so... Or not, as the case may be. Okay, I'm kind of surprised about that. Okay, yeah, Roskva is going to die, I think. Yep, there we go. Ah, oh, that is ah, oh, that is just terrible, isn't it? That is absolutely terrible. Okay, so there's not much more I can do here. I mean, I can just try and deal some damage, and then Kettle can obviously shoot with his bow, but that's basically all he's going to get. There we go. Okay, so they're going to focus down Kettle next, I believe, and then it will be Nephia by herself. Oh, no! Oh, they're actually trying to kill Nephia. Okay. Well, I, I suppose that would make sense considering she is the most damaging. But if this guy tries to shoot Kettle, that would be hilarious. No, he's not. Of course not. Yet, yeah, they would have actually killed Nephia if the other one had focused her. So that's, that's kind of impressive, I suppose. But yeah. Okay, 95% chance. I mean, hopefully it will not be harried. Okay, there we go. That's wonderful. Okay, and that is a kill. Can we kill with the double stab? That's the thing, I don't know. I don't know whether we can kill with the double stab. We can definitely kill with this, though, I think. There we go. Okay, so Nephia is now going to take another shot. Oh, wait a minute. I can actually move into cover. Let me do that. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. Okay, so this guy is obviously going to come out the front here and be annoying, and he's going to shoot Nephia, which is really sad. But there's not much more I could do, and this guy's going to kill Kettle as well, unless I get into melee, maybe? Maybe if I get into melee, maybe that would make a difference. He still has Flurry, so let's do that, shall we? There we go. And again. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I, I mean, that's the thing, like... Yeah, he's bad in melee! Yes! He is extremely bad in melee. This is great. This is very, very good for us. Okay. So, he's very bad in melee. We might be able to do this. We might be able to pull this off. And he's attempting to move away. Oh, no, please don't shoot. Oh, he's activating quick shot. He missed. And he missed again. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, that is amazing. And he's dead. <laughs> oh, well, that's hilarious. Okay, so, we did pick up a couple of injuries here because, obviously, I am just fantastic when it comes to making sure that we don't get injuries. But look at that. We say Well, we didn't save them, but we saved the, the day, I guess. And that was... That was pretty reasonable, I suppose. So, yeah, let's let's make camp then, I suppose. So, yes, who eats first? Weakest. Yes, of course. So now this is the camp screen, which is rather nice. So let's auto-assign everyone. And then we will make camp. 
There we go. Returns from hunting unsuccessfully. No meat added to your stores. Takes everyone's food and makes a meal out of it. Returns from hunting successfully and... Okay, so there you go. Resources. Zero of your party has gone hungry. So that's nice. There we go. Okay, so did that... That that did work. That did work, as you can see. We now longer no have... Yes, if I could speak. Now, now longer no have... Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Applaud me. Applaud me. Yes, exactly. Anyway, ah, yes. We now longer no have... Really, did I just say it again? <laughs> I hope you get... <laughs> I hope you got a good laugh out of that, because I certainly did. Ah, yes. Anyway, we no longer have... There we go. We no longer have any fatigued units. And, yeah, that's great. So, yeah, with that, I'm going to end this episode off here. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.